Today's Art Quickie. So we got a new Art Quickie episode. I'm going to tell you all about how to get the most out of your rollerball pins. So you don't have to go out and you don't have to use uh, a lot of money to get really expensive uh, products. All you have to do is get a rollerball pin and this rollerball pin can give you some uh, give you a couple of things that maybe a fountain pen wouldn't be able to give you. So one of those things and what I'm going to show you today is the uh, line weight, the weight of the lines that you can make. So for example, not line variation, so not the thickness of the line, but the, the darkness of the line, I guess you could say. So with the rollerball pen, you can make really, really light lines. As you can see, you can barely see those. Or you can make dark lines. So what this helps you to do is, say if you're drawing a face, right, you can kind of lay all of the pieces to the face out Like so, it's just going to be a bald headed person. You can lay all the pieces of your face out, and then you can come back and draw the lines in with a little more thickness. All right? <laughs> it's a big chin person, but you get what I'm saying. Then you can come back in and you can do darker lines like so. Uh, another thing you can use your, your light and dark lines on is for, uh, say if there's a light source, coming from in this direction you can also use the lighter lines like this as a way of showing light or using it for shading right so There's something else you can do with this variation of lines. Uh, something else you can do, again, since it's using the weight of the line, since the light is coming from this direction, maybe if you would have left this line on the light side, since it's the front of the face that the light is hitting, and then you can come back around and you can darken in the side that's against the light or opposite of the light. And what that does is, again, it just gives a little bit more depth to your drawing. So, just to show you some things you can do with it. As you can see right here, these are the techniques that I used in these drawings. Uh, this is a quickie today, so I don't have time to go through all of these drawings. But uh, the different weight of the lines as you can see and also the hatching using hatching to show uh, darkness and shadow okay so I hope that quick little video uh, can help you out with your rollerball pins uh, they're very useful again especially when you can uh, use those line variations or not line variations but you can use the weight of your lines uh, in your favor
So that wraps up this episode. If you liked the episode, make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like, and if you have any questions about how to get the most out of your rollerball pins, leave them down below. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Peace.